this is a video response to Alice the Red Rose Fairy um, in response to her video that she did about know me well I think it's very true as you can tell from my last video that I think the community here has become somewhat disjointed so I thought rather than write questions to her I thought I'd ask some questions and then I would invite video responses to that. So although these are <coughs> questions that I'd like to know from Alice the Red Rose Fairy, I'm going to post it on my channel as well uh, and put it out there to the community and let's get some info sharing and let's get to know each other a little bit better. I'll also maybe, maybe I'll even answer my own questions. So, first of all, what brought you, well, what Alice, what brought you back to YouTube? Um, and for everybody else, what brought you to YouTube? For me, it was the community aspect. Um, I'd, I was watching videos, I was commenting on some, and the whole community was just so alive and bright and... I was kind of all on my own in the UK, not really knowing anyone that followed this sort of spirituality. And it really was the community that, that drew me in and I, I wanted to, to share and take part. So really that's, that's where I came from, um, or how I came to join YouTube. I, I wanted to be part of the community because it's such a fabulous community and people on here are so lovely and also it was a way of me sort of giving back because I had learnt so much from people posting videos and their book recommendations and all these different things I'm still a dirty smoker um, and I also wanted to take part and, and give back and give my thanks and, and share my knowledge so that's how I came to make my first channel on YouTube and then, of course, I um, that got binned off, <laughs> got a bit fed up with it, and um, discarded the channel. And then I went through a couple of channel changes, and here I am now on Heidel's Corner. So there we go. But yeah, I'd really be interested to know, Alice, and what brought you back. And I suspect it's it's a similar thing. Um, what else would I like to know? I want to know. Um, how you get to live in such an amazing area. I am so jealous that in the background of all of your videos you have just this beautiful woodland and I feel like my garden is here. I have my shed. It's a little space. It's just it's very British. I live in a terrace. Um, so I like my space and of course there's a bee in the wisteria behind me. Probably you can hear that. Um, but yeah, how how did this happen, and how do I how do I sign up? <laughs> I I adore woodland, and I would I chop off a limb, I think, to be able to to live somewhere that beautiful. Although I have found out recently that there is a stone circle around the corner from where I am, I live. So I'm gonna try and persuade Hubby to walk with me up there this evening. And um, I'll take the video camera and we will go visit. I'm excited. Um, so that's my, my next question. And also, what else would I like to know? I'm, kind of, I'm quite interested in pagan parenting and I really enjoyed Alice's video where um, it was a night in the life. I thought that was wonderful. And... I think we should all make those videos. Um, I think we should all do a day in the life, a night in the life. Because I think something that we often forget is that your spirituality comes with you day in, day out. And it's what you do on a daily basis that makes your spirituality come to life, if you like. So I find it amazing to share in, in those things. And I'm just wondering, do you... Um, do you say food blessings and nighttime blessings? 
like is magic part of your day to day life, or is it kind of a, a weekend thing, or a you know once a month thing, or a, a just a sabbat thing? Um, how frequently does magic appear in your life? Okay, so those are three questions. Um, I haven't answered the third one, have I? I am a bit fair to middling when it comes to my spirituality. My spirituality is with me all the time, and I'm I always wear my pentacle which is on me now, which you can see, which was bought for me by a close friend, and I love it, and I hardly ever take it off. And um, I do try to, every time I come outside, I do try to greet um, the goddess, god and goddess, I try to do that. As a smoker as well, I come outside quite frequently, so <laughs> I try to remember to do that. And I do say blessings and speak to the goddess in my mind throughout the day, and I do meditate on a daily basis. A magical thing is I, I I like to have time to spend and at the minute I'm struggling to find time, hence the lack of videos to be honest. So um, I'm not doing as much magic as I would like to be doing and that's something that I'm in the process of changing. But. I do think it's important to remember your spirituality each day, even if it's just in the little things that you do. Um, you know, your little morning and evening rituals, they don't have to be big, massive things, but maybe you like to light incense in, in the evening. So, you know, um, that would be my third question is, you know, how, how often do you practice your magic? And do you have sort of daily rituals that you do? And would you be prepared to share them with the world of YouTube? Okay, well, I have bored you all long enough so I shall now go plus I need to carry on with what I was doing previously but I just wanted to come on and ask you those questions in response to your video so there you go you've had a little tour of my garden it's tiny it's like a like a postage stamp okay I'll speak to you soon take care and bless me bye guys <laughs>